Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. I'm talking outdoors every Saturday morning. Uh, I don't know if it's our 17th or 18th year. It all runs together. You know, uh, every Saturday is a different one for us, and we try to make it entertaining and uh, learn something on the show. And, of course, uh, Fourth Saturday now uh, is is time that we could roll out the man himself. He's sitting right over here, Bill Cooksey. All right. Good morning. Uh, how about morning. that? How about that? And Bill's talking about uh, you're going to be out today at? Uh, out at MSSA today. Mid-South yeah. uh, Memphis Sports Shooting Association. Right. And, and there'll be, uh, I know Bartlett will be there. Bartlett will be there. They're just about all the, the schools in this region will have a, a, it's a team great out there shooting. Yeah. And we'll have hundreds of kids shooting. Great to come out and watch and support it the kids. Really is. These are high school kids that will be out there, and uh, and I know that uh, that uh, Bill's helping with Bartlett High because mm-hmm. Bill the fifteenth uh, goes to school out <laughs> yep. there. Uh, but uh, and of course Ron Wong. This is for Saturday. We could, we could do on the road again, but we're not sure what road he's on again. So uh, <laughs> he he is everywhere. And Ron, I know that uh, uh, you. Th- you like hunting. I know Ron loves hunting. I love so hunting. He loves mm-hmm. hunting because that means that most people are, are off the water, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I encourage all of you all to go out and turkey hunt. Yeah, we got a little time left. Um, got a little turkey time. season is closed. Is, huh? PSA, public service. Turkey season's closed. Oh, what? Where? Yeah, yeah. Where? Here, here, Tennessee. Oh, Oh, well, yeah, they, the clo- they, closed it ar- they closed it early. They closed it early? Yeah. There's not enough turkeys? Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah. You're just, yeah <laughs> don't do I know it's a bad season in Arkansas, and they might close it and everything. But, uh, hey, the good, our next guest has uh, been on this many times. We appreciate our good folks at uh, Traditions Media have uh, been big supporters of Outdoors of Larry Ray uh, for our many years on the air, whether it's a donation or whatever it might be, and guest and uh we're going to talk to Josh Lance. He is the hunting communications manager for Traditions Media, and that means that he uh, he is our scent lock, our plain old synergy, and our FLR brands man. Good morning, Josh. Hey, good morning, Larry. Coming at, coming at you guys and your listeners from the big town of Three Oaks, Michigan, out on the porch with my coffee and my computer this morning. Three All Oaks, right. Michigan. Now, population what? Oh, about twelve hundred. Twelve. Sweet. That's, that's less than Lamar, Missouri. We just talked about uh, <laughs> twelve hundred. How, how many red lights? Uh, one. One. Whoa! All right, we got well, it. You you can add three thousand people before you need another one. That's we know exactly, that for sure. Exactly right. <laughs> but Josh, I know in your position uh, dealing with these companies and everything, Scentlock. The Scentlock's been on a roll. I, I, I'm amazed at what Scentlock has done. You know, we've known the product for many, many years, but now, to me, uh, you guys have taken the technology uh, that not only is it uh, it keeps you uh, from being smelled or, or smeller uh, in the woods, but it's also added a little bit of fashion to it. So talk about what's going on at Scentlock. Yeah, a lot. You know, there's two things. People hear about Scentlock, and they assume it's this great big company. It's not. It's not. Um, it's still a small company they've been out there doing what they do for 26 years you know helping hunters get closer to to the animals that we all chase after and um well known for their clothing and apparel uh it just keeps getting better and better uh they're the only company that has access to to all of today's um you know scent control technology yeah yeah and, and you know you said that they're they're really into the the science behind um scent control uh, they've got great people, great people to work with, and um, one of the exciting things they rolled out this year is their new Oz line yeah, of yeah. Uh, what they call active odor destroyers. I love that. The so bag, the gear bag is even, they got an odor <laughs> destroyer. I can get in that well, bag. You know what? Your I mean, gear needs to not smell? Yeah, yeah. So, t- <laughs> Good grief. I'm, I'm sorry, Josh, I broke in on you there, but I was just thinking of that bag out now. <laughs> How important a bag Yeah, is. that's the, the Oz Chamber 8K bag. It's a great place. Whether you use, uh, you know, activated carbon or carbon scent control clothing or not, uh-huh. you put your regular hunting clothing in there uh, along with all your accessories, you know, for archers, your release, uh, all your gear. And that ozone basically attacks any odor that's inside that bag and breaks it down. 
Um, so you take uh, you don't carry those odors into the field. So that's the idea behind the new Oz line. They have one for your car or your truck as well, plugged yeah. right into the lighter, nice. and kill those odors either at home in your vehicle before you know you can carry them into the field. Did you hear that? That you can put it in your lighter. Oh, that's and, cool. And I've always wondered. You know, you can you can have all that. You're riding down and you get a sausage and biscuit. You know, <laughs> right? I'm I'm telling you. Then you put on your clothes. Yeah, but because. Yeah, that, that makes all the sense in the world, man. That's the way to go. Well, you hit the woods scent free. You hit the woods scent free. And now, uh, of course, now turkeys, if they can smell, we'd never kill them, right. of course. But now, uh, uh, now, I've got an interesting story about that, Larry. What? what? Well, I, I killed my Indiana bird yesterday. And okay. People don't think about wearing scent control clothing in the spring turkey woods. All right. Um, but right. it's something to think about. I was working a tom in, and uh-huh. this is exactly why I wear it. Yeah, and I had two does come within twenty five yards of me um, on the other side from the turkeys, and they were just feeding. Oh. But the last thing you want in the spring turkey woods when you're working a gobbler into you is to have you know a doe or or multiple deer. I didn't think that about yet, that. And yeah, mm-hmm. causing alarm in the woods. So yeah, yeah. That'd... For your listeners that haven't thought about it in that term, you know, think about if you're if you're in the market for new lightweight uh, spring turkey hunting clothing. You know, Scentlock has a bunch of early season options for men and women. Uh, you might want to consider it, or they might want to consider it for that very reason. I Plus, know. you get double duty. What do you mean double duty? Well, you get to wear them turkey hunting and early season deer hunting. Well, that's true. That's and, exactly and, right. And, and they're also fashionable just to wear them around town. Or I, mean, I could I, wear it without taking a shower for a week and come in the studio and be with you all. Uh, that's an awful thought to think about, but I guess it, <laughs> it would work. I, I can't imagine. Ron, I don't know it's that effective. No, but. it's not that effective. Oh. Well, it might be. Now, according to Josh, yeah, it, might it might be. be. Yeah, we're talking. And to, we'll test it like that. How's we're, that? We're talking to Josh Lance, uh, Honey Communications Manager for Tra- Traditions Media. And another one of your things is, uh, is, that you have to, is Plano uh, Synergy. And I, I'm amazed. And Now, Ron will understand this. Plano has been the leader in all sorts of tackles, mm-hmm. uh, tackle, tackle containers, packs. tackle packs, whatever it might Everything, be. Yeah. I'm amazed. I don't know who that guy is that has that job to think about coming up with something new. But, you know, you would think there's nothing left to come up with. But Plano, and I know Josh will agree with me, has more products out there. The soft packs, uh, those things. And they, they, you know, they continually improve what they ha- they've already have out on the shelf, and it's pretty amazing what they've done. And they've got some pros that really help them tweak that stuff. Yeah, it's, so it's it, it, very, yeah. very, very efficient for any of us that are out on the water. I mean, mm. you know, when you have Kevin Van Dam, I've who, heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, he, just a little old fisherman. He's from, not far uh, from where uh, from Josh Michigan. lives. Yeah, you know, up in that area. And, but, uh, uh, but, but. You know what they have done? They have a new soft side that actually has You're stealing a Josh's thunder, hard that's top okay. yeah, that you can keep a plastic ba- box, one of the three sixties or thirty seven hundred boxes, on top with your favorite stuff that you're using that day, right at your hands. I mean, it's a great. They have some great stuff. Josh, we really, you could go ahead and hang up now. Ron's taking over, you know. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate that, Ron. <laughs> but, but that is true. Isn't that true, though, Josh, about uh, uh, the new products all the time? Yep, absolutely. Constant innovation. They've been doing it for almost 70 years. That's how old that brand is. You know. Wow, I didn't know story. that. Oh, Plano. I knew Mr. Plano a long time ago. Yeah, he and I were just plain yeah. old friends. Larry was at his christening. <laughs> yeah. <that's... laughs> yeah right. but Plano, Plano Molding was actually um, the first company um, after the war, World War II, um, yeah, okay. to start doing injection molding in the United States, you know, with, with hmm. plastics. You know, that was the mir- miracle material, right? You know, in the late 40s and, and early 50s. And then uh, they did the first plastic tackle box in 1952, and the the, the rest is history. And you you guys are absolutely right. You know, today people want the, the soft side bags. And, uh, boy, they've got one for everybody for sure, you know, uh, with – like Ron said, input from Kevin Van Dam and Jordan Lee, who won, you know, Jordan the Lee. Oh, he's yeah. A, he's a Plano guy, you know, relies on, you know, that organization and efficiency on the water so he can fish and keep his lure in the water. But so, I'm going to hmm. tell you one thing. The Plano, Plano box was started by more kids 
uh, with a little open up, picking in there, got little things in there. Yep. I can remember getting my first plain old box uh, and having those I'll lures you, inside. That's so still there's a more handy box. Oh, I know, have it, I know, but today. it's like you know my good friends the Daisy BB guns. You know, every kid starts with a plain old box. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Absolutely. yellow ones, the, the yellow ones with the little plain old name <laughs> on it. They still sell those things, right, Josh? By the millions, yes, probably. Sir. Yes, sir. Well, and they give a lot of them away too. You know, you you guys do a lot of sports yes, shows, yes, and things like yeah. that. And fishing how many rodeos. sports shows do you go to where the first five hundred kids through the door get a free <laughs> plain old fishing tackle box? You know, just like you're talking about. So, absolutely, it's a great company to work with. Well, I tell you what, uh, I, I know that uh, you, you got uh, you got a job here. I know uh, that, that you've worked for some companies that really are uh, really are hard to sell, Josh. I mean, it's uh, you know, so I mean. Uh, <laughs> Well, the the last thing you want to do in the PR business, Larry, is work with a, a C or a D company and try and make it sound like an E company. <laughs> that's so that's it. why Traditions prefers to go right to the right to the category leaders. Well, you, know, you guys, right you guys are great, and we could talk forever. Josh, thank you, buddy, for taking time. Uh, 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 keep going after it, and we'll stay in touch and tell everybody at Traditions hello for us. Okay, man. Thanks so much, Larry. Appreciate everything that you do and appreciate your listeners as well. All right. Thank you, Josh. Josh Lance. All right, folks, we're going to take a break, come back, and uh, close it out with some fish talk. All right. And uh, the man that uh, knows more about putting on a BSS show, and Ron's been to many of these, this is the guy that puts on, lays it all out, puts it on the line, and he's going to... He's, he's going to get Ron in orange. Next year, Ron Wong will be in Knoxville. I can't Dude, imagine. I'll be in Knoxville. Oh, my goodness. We'll be right back.